Oh my god, we're starting the game! We're starting the game, guys! That was quick. What the? Alright, I thought Cryog was going to the bathroom, but Cryog has Very insane quick. bathroom APM. And we are now in game number one on Tile Cross. At the left position as the brown Terran, we do have IFU Cryog. In the top right, we do have the green Zerg, uh, green Protoss, RM <laughs> the Walt. Not Zerg kicks, we don't need any more Zergs. <clears throat> I think it's because just before the game I was thinking about seeing before it started. For the longest time I swear every foreign tournament I watched the four, like the finals with Eon Zerg True Touch, every single time. Exactly, exactly. Um, but that is no longer the case, we are in a wonderful time of Protoss and Terran not actually losing everything, which is great. Although Terran, Terran's got a little ways to go, but they're getting there, they're getting there for sure. Yeah, the uh, foreign Terrans need to catch on this, like, I've heard about this Tasagi virus that's going around and uh, I've been trying to catch it, but it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Um... Well, in comparison to the first game of the last series we, we casted, we do actually have a pylon in the base. So, uh, fairly standard from DeWalt so far. It is indeed, and I believe this is a round of 16 match, uh, again. Oh, excuse me, a best of three. So uh, we'll have to see how this goes. I, I would imagine DeWalt is most people's favorite here. He is the runner-up uh, from the last Team Liquid Open, uh, losing to Tai 2 and I think with what was a very interesting series of games and a bit of an upset as well in the finals. But having said that, Tai 2 has been on the tear recently, so maybe not so much of an upset. But yeah, Cryok also is, uh, is pretty darn good. Yeah, Cryok seems to be one of those players that gets at least to the round of 16 in pretty much every tournament he plays in. Now, he keeps coming across difficulties in the round of 16 or round of 8 and get knocked out. He's kind of like the... I guess this is more an extreme example, but he's the Tim Henman of Foreign Brood War. <laughs> Making it far, but never into a final. I have no idea who that is. Wow, he... He's like the uh, famous British character... British Terran player, British tennis player. <laughs> he like always made it to semi-finals, but never ever made it to a final. I don't think. Huh, interesting. There you that's go. That's why. Uh, that's why the area at Wimbledon, which is now Murray Mound, used to be called Hedman Hill. I did not know that either. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh. I don't it's really follow you, tennis. You're in America. Uh, you're in America too long. That's the problem. No, it's I. I follow. The, the one true sport, which is StarCraft. I don't have time for all of these fake sports like tennis. I mean, really, who wants to watch tennis, Matt? I don't watch it, but it's still one of those things that, like, the British media doesn't shut up about, so you kind of... it's unavoidable. It's fake news, man. It's fake news. The real news is right here. It's PVT on Tau Cross. This is what we all care about. Don't need any of your fake news. Anyway, um... By the way, oh, 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 that's what I want to say. Uh, guys, Mana is streaming his first person view of this tournament, so if you want to go watch Liquid Drone versus Liquid Mana, you can go check out Mana's stream as well. Uh, Foxhand just came in to report that the first game was apparently epic. So, uh, so yeah, if you, if you want to watch some Zerg action, some ZVP action, go check out Mana's stream as well. And, uh, and hopefully he does, uh, he does, he goes pretty far. I think he got to the semifinals last weekend, right? He got knocked out by DeWalt? Very possible, and Kryok is going too fact, by the way. Two fact against Ooh. one gate goon range. Very interesting, and possibly a very dead Protoss. Man, we're, we're lagging a little bit. I hope, I hope the players are okay. I wonder what turn rate this is. I know Dewalt likes to play turn rate 12. So he might have hosted TR 12. We should be okay. I don't see too much lag, unless it's me causing the lag, in which case that's bad. I've got nothing else running, so there shouldn't be any, any problems. Yeah, we do. Oh, is this probe gonna? No, doesn't matter. I was gonna say, is the probe gonna snipe the SCV as like this cool moving shot, but it didn't need to. The dragoon killed it anyway. Wait, you, you're really not seeing. Wait, can we actually? Can, can you imagine if we had desync to lag kicks? Like one person's game was lagging and the other wasn't. That would be insane. Yeah, desyncing again wouldn't be good. I've, the weird thing is, like, more recently I've been coming across people in Ladder who seem to know who I am now because I've been casting with you. And they're like, oh, how's your alternate dimension? And it's like, what? Why do people know about this? <laughs> You're famous, man. Welcome to E-Fame. 
Dude, you're gonna have to start smurfing on ladders so people can't snipe you and, and know your builds. That's a good plan. I'm not sure it would really matter though, because whether or not I've got builds is great, but it's executing that's some of the problem. Hopefully Cryalk is going to execute the two-fact here better than I ever would. And it looks like he's actually... He's actually doing a fake, fake double. He's moved out with just uh, just a few tanks, or just one tank and a few marines, and the Vulture, and he's heading back as if he's doing a defensive FD. Now what the Walt does not know is there is going to be two factories worth of production coming his way. Now, the good thing for DeWalt is he didn't go for the greedy one gate expand. He's actually gone one gate reaver first into presumably an expansion, but a reaver opening, I'm pretty sure, is a soft, if not a hard counter to a two factory build, assuming you have decent micro. Um, so this could actually turn really bad for Cryoc uh, in this situation, and the probe actually sees what's coming, so DeWalt should be happy about this if he can actually micro uh, his reaver effectively. We already saw Cheetek try it against SPX, and it didn't quite work out for him. He went super aggro with the double speed shuttles, but let's see how this works out against against uh, against the two fact. The, the units are coming down really fast here. The scouting probe is actually oh gonna fall. The tank actually finishes him off. The dragoon is actually just chilling in the main base, building a pylon just to buy himself time. He doesn't want to engage at all. He just wants to wait for his reaver to come out to defend this. And Cryok now grouping up. He's getting ready to move in, kicks. He is. Now, Cryok very cleverly is actually adding his engineering bay before trying to expand with this. Has he got any SCVs over there to build the turret, or is this purely going to be for defense? Now, Reaver, he scouted only one gate, uh, one gate goon range, so he knows that there's going to be some tech. But is he going to know what tech it is? Imagine if this was DTs here, he'd be in so much trouble right now. Would be, but here comes the Reaver, and what is the tank positioning like? Okay, he unseaches the back one. There is a Zealot in here as well. The first Reaver shot is pretty good here. He doesn't quite pick off the Sea Shank though. He's got to drop the Reaver again, but he's got nothing else in the shuttle. He doesn't want to drop it or it'll get insta killed. He's actually flying back. He's. I, I don't know where he actually wants to drop this. Duol trying to figure out how to do something here. Maybe he's just got to wait for another Zealot to actually drop first, but the gateway is now under siege, and this is really painful for DeWalt. He's gonna take siege tank shots every time a gateway pops out. Or sorry, a goon pops out. Yeah, but this Reaver is gonna be able to range down at least the Vultures, so that's pretty good for him. And every time the Vultures and tanks move forward, there's less defending these back tanks. Oh man, he drops a goon. He... Oh, the Reaver goes down, I think. Wait, did that go down? I don't know, but he got the back tank. I'm actually not 100% sure because the tank exploded at the same time. It looks like it didn't because he's going to drop it again. The Reaver is still alive. It's got one HP. Oh, it dies to the Marine. Dead. Oh my god. Oh, can I mean, can the wall hold on from here? There is only one tank here. And he has got a second Reaver out as well. He can't make any more gateway units though. The gateway's all mined up. He's gonna make a Zelda. The Zelda's actually gonna mine drag into the boulder. Oh huge mine! Ooh. And another mine drag kills the other vulture as well. It does kill the dragoon, but there is no Protoss units left other than this Reaver, and there's no Terran units on this one tank. Wait, another two a... tanks are coming in though. He doesn't even have a shuttle. Oh, oh so god. he doesn't. Oh god, probes, please. G H H. And Cryok takes game number one.